with autonomous vehicles as well as with highly assisted driving, we will see reconfiguration possibilities of the vehicle interior. The cockpit can contribute in this way that we combine all possible actuations and functions into one whole safety system. So we do also utilize the seat, the reposition possibilities of the seat, as well as the steering wheel as a haptic, not just the steering element and the displays to give a full function and intuitive information to the driver. The seating positions of today's vehicle are tested in standard position and we have a high level of safety in those configurations. Those new seating positions require new positions of safety systems, airbags, as well as seat belts, and we have to make those new seating positions as safe as we are today. As we allow more flexibility in the interior, we need to know the position of the occupant, we need to know his posture, and we also need to know where he's looking at. That's why this interior observation system is a major contributor to those safety functions. More and more we do see that we can address many of the accident scenarios if we are able to act well before the crash happens. We develop one system, the proactive side impact protection, where we deploy the airbag to the side before the crash happens. So the crash zone was outside of the car and absorbing energy. And the same thing we will see in the future also to the front. So that opens a great variety of additional functions. <laughs>